Tonight, the city is trying to figure out what caused part of a building to collapse in East Garfield Park, killing one man and seriously injuring two others. Yeah, all of the victims were relatives. CBS 2's Meredith Barrick and Tim McNicholas both live. Tim, you just learned the owner may have had some repairs made recently. That's right, Brad and Erica. A relative of the owner came up to me just about an hour and a half ago. It was late this afternoon, and he told me the owner actually had work done on the property just a few months ago. We can't confirm that. He wouldn't give me the name of the construction company that did the work. We also discovered this Google Street View image dated seven months ago. It appears to show one part just below the roof beginning to separate from the rest of the building. The city has not answered our questions on whether that contributed to the collapse. The building failed an inspection in 2015 because the owner did not maintain the exterior walls. We don't know whether those violations were ever fixed. But earlier today, Mayor Lightfoot said, said the family that owns the building had fallen on hard times and was not able to keep up the property. The owner declined an interview with us, but then that relative that's when he approached me and he said that she had had work done on the property. That's my cousin, that's my first cousin, and she is not a slum landlord. She have no idea that it was going to fall and you can't blame it on the wind. I really want to blame the constructing company because they the ones supposed to make sure everything was correct. Now we have learned that the owner of the property filed for bankruptcy about two weeks ago. She lived in the home on the second floor and was related to the man who died and those who were injured. Live in East Garfield Park, Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News.